This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. We welcome you here to the Die Sporting Network. We got a big one on tap here, a makeup game from two weeks ago. Boys Latin against St. Francis. And I got a special color commentary with me tonight. Chris Armstrong. Is the Armstrong name is familiar? Jailer Armstrong, I was with IND and Coach. Good to have you along with me tonight. And Toes get the three going to start off at St. Francis. Boys Latin, Coach has had a successful season, best season in their history. And they have the biggest test in the regular season for them tonight. Way out and a miss there. Some great cut, some great football cut. Just to the layup. Great defense. This is going to be a good battle. Man. These are two good teams. Number one, number one in the conference. It's going to be an exciting night here at St. Francis. No question about that. It's Cam Spencer, lead candidate for the player of the year. Multiple areas, as you see him now. Black jersey tonight for the Lakers. Nichols inside, passed it back. That's a three. You, know, you see that a lot on the girls' end, but the boys' right they're getting their spots and they hit them. That's a great pass with a big man in the paint, fighting in the paint, get kicking the ball out, great shot, knockdown three. Inside, the layup is good there. Nice to see inside out basketball again. Good to see that in the boys' basketball. That's a three. Hits it! And Shell is a replacement for Watts that was hurt. Toys ACL. Coach Armstrong, he's done for the year. And uh, so far, so good for the uh, standard. It's a great situation there where you can have someone, unfortunately, get hurt. Gonna have someone come in, step in, and play, and try to fill those shoes. Lakers out of bounds, and Boys Latin gets it back. This is a 6-5 game, up tempo affair. Both teams like that. The Boys Latin loves to hit them jumpers. Every time you press, man, you're gonna need someone open. It's a great job of Boys Latin being prepared. To get open. <laughs> get open. Walker up against Toes. Walker is fouled. Now number 23, Jordan Holmes. As I say, always, always a plus. Grace is inbounding over to Walker. What do you see so far in St. Francis' defense? Big strong defense, man, man, man. Big man doing the heads and getting back to the line. Great move. Nichols. Missed it high. Fighting for the rebound. Couldn't get it. And West does. Here comes the ace. Adrian Bowen. Had a scare yesterday. Back in business. Toes inside. Wow with the layup. No good. High up inside. Jump ball. Oh. And it's going to boys line. There's that young man again. Raise on one end. Rebounding on the other end. That's, That's enough. a great job by that young man. My apologies, Coach. The procession arrow goes to St. Francis. Right here, Jones, the senior. Baldwin. And turns it over. He's looking for West. Here comes Walker. Straight pass. Nichols right at the center. Good drive. Good drive. Good Like we were saying earlier, Coach, this boys' lane team is very disciplined. And Jones. Got a fail of a big game. Boys Latin right now seems to be ready for the challenge, Coach. They seem to be ready for the challenge, and here we are, man. Great, again, a great environment. This is big for the city of Baltimore. Like mind, we're glad to bring it to you in the dive. Now, that layup missed there by Walker. Back on toes to the ace. Wide open three for him. That one back in missed. Offensive rebound there by West. He's big dividends. And he lays it in for two. Big move, big shot. Very good team. A lot of talent. 
Murphy inside, high miss. It's a ball. This time it's going to Boyd Black. Lakers, great big move. He's got to finish. Got to finish. Good job from Boyd Black boxing out. Again, as you said earlier, man, very disciplined team. Gonna be the right thing. Coach Reeves, a auto in the bottom of some of my buddy Glenn Graham. Showing the Spencer brothers, one is on the bench coaching. That one's a star player senior, and that one is a sophomore. A couple years. Long distance from Grace. Pitch there! Green. Here comes the ace driving. Murphy with the offensive board and he's fouled. Right now, it appears that St. Francis is dominating the boards on the offensive end. Foul call on number one, Kendall Walker. Do you feel in this instance that uh, Panthers basketball. The, the way the zone is working on the other end, Boyce Latin trying to wear St. Francis down on that end. Did not have offense so, so well. Oh! What's your pull up, man? It's a long start. In basketball, both girls and boys, it's a lot of art. I'm oh, sorry, that's a great job that young man went to the ball up, putting the ball in the ring. Jordan Toles, a double sport athlete coach, plays football, Alabama's looking at him, and then plays that basketball in the winter. Number two shot by Nickel. I mean, this is how good this boy Latin team is. They don't have their point guard. A lot of people thought that big man would struggle as a turnover there by Jones. But they've been able to keep it going, keep the one streak going, and good coaching by Coach Reed. Well, that's what coaching is. That's what having a good team is about, man. When one person goes down, everybody rallies around that person and come together. And just continue to keep it going. What I'm looking at is the people that Bill Zadden is undersized. Undersized right now in this matchup in the score. This morning is 12 to 13. Bill Zadden, so this is a great job by them. Walker from downtown. He hit! Murphy, that's two points for him. Two big men rewarding each other. Love to see it. Walker brings it back up. Nichols takes a shot, has brought Murphy out to the outside, which opens the lane up. I haven't seen much on this guy yet. Block. Nice defense there by Toes against Spencer. It's a great job. St. Francis, defensively. Oh, what a kick by him. Capitalize, 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 get a bucket. Toes again. Hits again. How you doing? Great job. 17-16 game, it's a one-point lead. Over the home Panthers, ranked fourth in the Rossi Sun and Ball on Sun Bowls back to win. Number one in their side of the MIA division. That's the three from Spencer. Hits it! Woo. I love it! Check that one out. It's deep in our archives on the Dice Ring Network as we come back to this amazing boys matchup here. A two point lead for the number one team, Boys Latin, here in the area. The ace now. Mike Quick, Coach Armstrong, what did you like from Adrian Baldwin so far? You said? This, this game is very complete. I love the way he's just controlling the game, allowing things to come to him. Oh, it's a 
And unless I indeed makes an amazing <laughs> run to get there. Uh, to see Roland Park and another strip. But right back is Jones. Toes. And it slams it down time. That's a great job from St. Francis to get a turnover, get a big put back. I think that's the same in man receiving the three ball. Isn't yes, it, it is. He, my, my brain is right. 16 of the 22 points belong to Jordan Trolls, the junior right now. Spencer. Good job. Yes. Oh boy. That was high. Offensive rebound. Back over to Spencer. Kicks it back over. That's a three. That one misses. And it's going to stay. No, it's going to stay. Me and Talk about the ball in the front of us. Take it, get it. 1.6 left, and right there, Coach, we were saying earlier how boys might be getting their sets and hit the jumpers, but there they wasn't able to. And they almost hit it. Great job by St. Francis on the defensive end, running them off the spot, making them put the ball on the floor. They came out with a good defense position. What a first quarter, and after one, it's 22 to 19. St. Francis up by three. In this highly anticipated matchup, we were supposed to go down two weeks ago. As we know, coach, the rain and a lot of snow and cold, even though it's not cold out there now, <laughs> as the champion is tonight. And tomorrow is both in the 60s as well. And uh, right now, if, if, you're, if you're both teams, what do you think you want to do better or both teams right now are running a type of offense? Well, I think that right now, if you're a you got to be solid on the offense. Then again, the one shot of the defensive end and, and don't turn the ball over the transition. Because the St. Francis continues to get the ball to the end. We've got to get those big men going. Got to get some easy points down in the bucket. And that's some of that athleticism from the show. Plus, I'm out. We're thinking back to game action. Second quarter, about to get going. And this is where it's interesting. Bench play. And yeah. See how deep both benches are in this one, because it's going to be some attrition before this one's all settled down. Alexander, back over to Stan. Shot clock at 20. Alexander, oh boy, he lost it back court. Finally. The freshman has not done that so far this year, believe it or not, coach. And that was kind of shocking. So, this is a big stage, man. One is one and four from out of state. Right? Yep. It's a big stage. Got to be ready to play. I'm sure they came down to get himself together and be ready to go. Nichols has been amazing in the corner. He lays it out. Shooting from the elbow, finishing at the rim. That's great basketball. Now it is. Right now, the trees are not in for St. Francis. He took advantage of it. That layup is good by Ramon. Pilot's call against uh, St. Francis. Pilot's not been a factor so far, because that's not a big deal. so great rhythm. Very good. Very good. And Spencer against Adrian Baldwin. This is a matchup. Ooh, a lot of people like to see. Back to Walker. As you're seeing now, uh, a lot of people when you see boys land, oh, like three point shooting, but they can drive to the hoop like anybody's business. Oh. Offensive foul. 
great defense, my boys. That, again, oh, this is what we're talking about. Ball just passes away. Somebody got to get it. Basketball. Yeah. 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 I'm seeing Jason Murphy getting in off the score table. Said, I went back in this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game you want to be in. Stand in the room only, man. Everybody's here. Everybody's want to see it. One and four play tonight. It's a great opportunity for high school basketball. Right? Stay in so many great games in the area tonight. Um, see some girls action up at Pikeville in and out to the first private town. The Matthew Paul, six on the boys end, and down here, Virginia. It's a great night. We got this great one here. Spencer, and he walks. Great job. I haven't said this one all year. He dribbled himself into a foul. <laughs> Sometimes when he balls out, man, he's on the ground. I mean, this is great basketball, 23-24, man. Middle of the second quarter, great basketball. Ray takes the shot, back to toe. Red hot first quarter. Second quarter continues. Nice. Back hand down, man down. If you're too close, I'm going to blow by you and finish up the rim. It's a great job of offense, man. It is. Jordan Toes is really putting on the show. And it's not the air show that we usually like to see. What? The behind a foul is called, though. Saw that coach is about to make a point. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> it's a great oh, my. Way to take it. Mr. Toll is having a great game. I see him talking about it. That's what leadership is about. But at the same time, man, he's putting in a great, great offensive exhibition, man. That's on going Rashad Jones here. That was an interesting exchange there, Coach Lee Jeff, with a bench of St. Francis. Yeah, I think it comes down to the uniformity of, of, of the teams and the referees on the side of the show. Go! 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 Either you got a double it or you got to commit to stop on the same right now in this period. has over 20 points in the game. Fakes it, shoots it, that one fakes. And a foul against Boyd Lang. Let me start with someone now. Let's try to use it. Jordan Toes going to put a couple men on that guy right now. He's, uh, it's not a dunk show, but it's usually the air Jordan Toes show. But tonight, it's a long distance missile type of show inside the Murphy. That's what you got to do, man, when you want to go to that. Oh, what a spin move. Kiss on the star. Ah, missed it. Offensive rebound. Jason Murphy. The the side of St. Francis is really starting to come into play right now. Boys, they're going to slow it down. They're going to get a good basket here. Nichols from downtown, and it's been out. Alexander, toes. He's red hot right now. Cup. Oh, didn't get it in. Two shots coming up. That's a great move. As you said before, he's doing it on both ends of Pretty incredible. He's not known for the long distance shot. It's several. Shooting two. Jordan Toes right now is Lily. Got the buckets for the Panthers at the moment. Has anybody told him he's not supposed to see the three? Because <laughs> he is left and right tonight, man. Yes, he is. He's not getting that memo, but it's great to see him do that, man. It's great to see his body grow and expand beyond the people. Definitely. 33-25 game for the Panthers. Second shot goes out. Rebound to Spencer. St. Francis 
defensively right now. Doing a magnificent job against Boyd Lang. That's a three though, wide open. That one tips and miss. Even though it's not falling right like now. Boyd's Lang gotta find a way to get him 14 and get him back into the offensive game. You gotta get him back in the offensive game. Get something easy for him. Toes! For three! Ah, uh, that one didn't go. And if that goes down, this gym is going to erupt. It's going to erupt in here. It. Nichols again. That one goes in. Time out. Boys back finds a way to get Nichols in the game. Time out, Lakers. Nichols. That is. Three timeouts. See the game starting to get away from this. Starting to get going on. All timeouts. Seven to six. Coming out. Question about it. And the loss of watch might be known now because he is a good guy. Four guys into it. And that could be a fight. But the defense is like last, I think, Coach Long has been the main one. And it's always a tough thing, like, to lose the point guard. It's like, he's been going back. It's like a hard to tell you. He makes everybody around him better. So, to see boys back in the mountain, continue to play this way, and only be down with him. Now, he's been six months right now. It's a great fight. That is. Yes. 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 West will inbound over to Alexander. Alexander brings it up. St. Francis in their white jerseys this evening. I see Jones. Pulls up. Hits it. Over the West. 
West drives two over two men and gets the roll. Big time move right there. That was, wasn't it? It's a big time move. That was over two guys. Absolutely. Big boy basketball. You know, you gonna block it. He's gonna block it. So Nickers is back in right now. The boy is back. Gotta get him in. Gotta get him a free guy. Double double. Over the West, nice move. And up, oh, missed it high. Montague, Montague. Nice footwork, not to travel. And then West, and the choice. Step out of bounds. The ball back to boys Latin. Adrian Walden doing a great job on the glass. Doing a great job on the basket. Jamal West, I yeah. All right. That layup is good. Great backdoor touch. Oh, the ace. Ooh. Pull out. And hit. Here's the help. Help didn't get there in time. He didn't mind about that. Spencer. Spencer inside. And he's shooting too. That's a really good move. Veteran leadership there by Cam Spencer, saying the game is kind of Cameron, getting Jesus. ahead a little bit, dictating the action. Absolutely, that's a great move getting down here for the basket. Trying to see him in the game. Good shot. Usually at the line is usually two points. Okay, take a buddy down there, man. It was a big game. You know he's here. Hey, man, listen. Let me add him now. From Cam Burgo. It's the first time I met him. I coached his son, so. That's an amazing thing, man. How the game go. Yeah, he's got it. Down the second. Shot clock ain't clock. Five and a half seconds apart from each other. Nice pass. Oh, big time. Big time time. Oh, that may be the first mistake he's made all day. Yes. That may be the first mistake he's made all day, but again, trying to attack the basket. He just got ahead of himself a little bit there. That happens during the feet. can be so quick. Shot clock's off right now. The shot clock is off. Boys Latin can hold for the last shot. I'm sure they will. Right here. There goes Spencer now. Spencer against the ace. The D&D, nine, eight, seven. Spencer drives and gets the roll. Got to turn and play defense. It's a good over. Ooh, that's a good a foul right there. Two shots. Division coaching right now. St. Francis looking good. Up by five. 
Well, they were up by five. Great shot for the suspension. Yeah. Finding a hole in the zone. Big man moving the paint. Trying yeah. to find the open air. Knock down a big shot. Yeah. The ace. Way downtown. Yeah. And crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Way downtown. And crazy. Yeah. Continue to high street. That's a great job again by Mr. Burns. A great skip pass. He does it by the for St. Francis. And you can see the defensive intensity for St. Francis is starting to pick up. Normally, he just uh, he walk up. Passed up a two. And the ball's going to stay with the Lakers on there. Lakers, you don't back a little cut, just a little yeah. Yeah. You would him, you, you play back because he's so quick. It's all good. Now, there's a 16 seconds on the shot clock, still run that offense and get a good shot off. Absolutely. There's Sam. Hey, speaking of him. Sam! There's Sam. Great execution on the inbound play. This is the angle of that three. Absolutely. Throw it in, come off the curl, get it right back. Great execution. Amazing. The ace though with the ball control. Kicking it back over to Rashad Jones. He's known for this. He missed that three though last time. Nichols. Whoa, how about that from the big man? Keeping his dribble there. Absolutely. Fight through the contact, staying from hold. Spencer. And one. Two shots, that is, now. Almost in. Great defense by Rob Rock. Good move with suspension. Just attacking the basket. Stands on the ball. Cloud in the beginning. When you talk about number 12, big man number 14. He's going to make me go out. Number zero. Right, you just need to be a pass first point guard. I'm going to just take the camera. Now, over the ball, I'm going to kill him. He plays a great job for a big man in high school basketball. There he is. The first shot goes there for Spencer. Some of these young men are playing for their college guys. They're out of college. She had a guy last year that put the score in. And he was the point guard that was always. Three. Throwing up the crosses. Which kind of the session game early in the quarter. Now it's dropped to a super session. 47. 43. Jones. Murphy. Baldwin. Ace pulls up. Spins out on him. Rebound by Murphy. Ah, uh, the angle wasn't there. It's going to stay with St. Francis. Man. The Lakers. The side. Oh, the great move. Just good face. Good night. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's he was great. Oh, the offensive board goes that way. He's great. 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 Again, a little miscommunication. I was just I think Jordan used to play a good idea. Oh, back to toe. Yeah, we all with the toe. Pull out. Spend out. We look at Murphy. Not the basket at one. Start a basket. Mr. Murphy is on the second half of the game. Foul call number three, Sam Grace. Great rebound. Jason Murphy. Shooting one. Brian Thompson as well. 
Hij de liefst komt er wel uit dan. Weer een ding hier. Dat is een goede bal. Also goes to point out that uh, the boys that is really about the ball side. Right there. And the ball goes up, find the find the body. The ace. Just as I was just talking about. Find the body box out. There you go. Behind the back foul there. Lakers in the game, getting less of it. Now you do football too, of course, so the uh, Black Raven, the Raiders this year, getting back to things, and what you expect to see your guys coming in the next year? Yeah, next year should be a good year for us. We're going to turn in 17. We had a 16-year-old category. We're going to be fine. They're just working hard right now. As they say. Yeah. Mark, yeah. Like our, like all of the kids just rotate around. So yeah. it's like we transfer from uh, the Lakers. Yeah. Got it back. Right. Oh man, oh. collision. Yeah. Hits it. Glad that both those young men are able to get up and question the line. Both those guys are done. Just the platform. Very, very good. Yeah. Big time. So like middle, you know. Yeah. So we know Ace had an eye injury yesterday. Able to come back from it. That's the foul. I'm not sure if there's any active shooting it is, so it's going to be two seconds. Foul on number three, Sam Grease. Rajir Jones. Shooting two. That's where a lot of people are coming because the body's not rushing. You just play a couple sports and build muscles out there. Because they sport raise the muscle, yeah. And it rests. And it continues to work. That's where you like to see that first shot go. That's the jump. So you're ready to decide. Second shot here. Give an eight point lead back to St. Francis. It goes. Same thing's with a great job coming out of here. Same in the run, baby. Lakers. 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 It's a great job that they've been able to overcome and sustain this. You gotta get Mr. Nichols on the game. He played for like he was in the North Carolina. Great. One in the first time he had to play with Walker. And we played with the Mount Royal. This is the screen. Right now, Spencer's out of the game. Actually, it's not. My apologies. Oh, man. Thank you, one of the quarters. Pulling the chair. From the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I think he's yeah. looking for a foul there. Because they used to play in the court. This was a lot of yeah, them. And they did the same thing. Yeah, I was one of the best kids in the league. Ball went. Yeah, I know. That's one of the best kids in the league. Turn that one down. Oh, man. Jones. Misses. Oh, man. Murphy, offensive rebound, puts it back. Jason Murphy! Ten-point lead here for St. Francis. As he teams only will meet this one time before the postseason. The ace. Nice pass. Jones pulls off for three. That one tipped and missed. Out of bounds. Going to go to Boyd Flatton. Save the boys Latin. Absolutely. What they can do from the outside. Ace. Nice. Got the miss, man. Spencer kicks it back to Walker. Walker drives all the way to the lane. Brave. Panthers basketball. Got a 
dynamic. Coach Armstrong, that was brave for walking to go inside against some Giants. It was brave. But when you look at it again, Mr. Spells, 5'10 on the floor, trying to throw the rebound back in. That's, that's a great job of hustling this, not allowing the size to be a factor in the game of basketball. It's a great job. There is a place in basketball. There. You know, down about it. My place is up there. <laughs> Oh, good split. It was. Foul against Boys Latin. That's their third. See right now. Back over. Got the shot. Again, they my man, 5'10. Right, there he is. Mr. Cuckoo. There he is. Oh, Mr. Cuckoo with the combination there. 10 point lead for the Panthers. The ace spins out. Offensive rebound. Jones in the corner for three. Spencer, shooting two. Again, look at that mid range game you're talking about. Oh, yes, indeed. Shooting that mid range game, got hit on the elbow. Like we said with Spencer, when he comes to the line, it's easy two points. Layup, huh? Yep. Layup. Nice so most of the time, give it to him. But well, like you were saying, with the uh, boxing out, it has killed Boys Latin on the, on the defensive end. And it's wearing them down. So offensively, they can't do what they want to do. Absolutely. You know, shooting the three ball, you got it. Got it. You got to play defense. Like they got to play right now. It becomes harder to shoot that ball in the fourth quarter. And the fourth quarter is looming large right now. Absolutely. No, don't really like to make the comparison. Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, but it's amazing at how those men can shoot the ball in the fourth quarter. Just like they do in the It is amazing. But again, not making the comparison. All the above, helping boys Latin stay in this one. Lakers. Only two defeats on the season. No conference losses. The Pilate game was a neutral site tournament game in December. It was their last defeat. Spencer. This is picking up the same wins. Intensity. Okay. Double team. Nice defense by the ace! And a steal! Back to Alexander! Missed it! Under the knee. Got a timeout and get it. 63 52 affair. Down the second slap in the quarter. And uh, nice hustle there by both sides. Absolutely. St. Francis playing defense like that. They're showing you right now we don't want to lose this game. We want to secure our home. We want to stay. Gotta love it. It's great and bounds over. 30 seconds on the shot clock. Spencer gives a screen. Gotta get up. Oh, spacing by Jones, not letting Grace get an open shot. Absolutely. Gotta get up and go. Spencer! Shooting two. And Spencer can dictate the pace when he has the ball, you know? Absolutely. He does a great job of oh, so getting down into the basket. And gonna put the ball on. Again, he's got that. So this is a what? Layup. 
Layups last dunk. Depends on what you want to say. First shot goes. So the shot clock and game clock for whoever gets the ball here off the second shot will be a three and a half second difference. Absolutely. I see the coach is bringing a 6 9 player back in. And Toes is coming back in as well, man. So we want to secure a good shot here uh, for the last second. A rare miss. <laughs> Absolutely. Was it the commentator, James? No, we're not going to blame We're not going to blame Hey, I'll take you. I'll not tonight. Nah, we're, we're, not, we're not going to I won't do it again. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Sorry, Mr. Toes. I won't do it again. That's a foul against Boys Land. Shot clock is off. Fourteen foul against the Lakers. Panthers. It's been a good game. Not a lot of fouls. That's a lot of good defense being played. Love it. It makes the tempo so good. Absolutely. Hands free defense. The uh, infamous ten-second uh, situation, and it is. Nice kiss. Toes again. Hits again. Sunday for that one. And then next Monday night, taping who's one in the MIAB conference? St. Paul, off Bishop Curley, going at it, the winner, securing the, the second seed spot in the MIAB conference playoffs. You know, I'm very part of the B conference, man, because that's where I am for so many years. Busty with five points. Biggest lead for St. Francis at 15. You know, it's amazing because it doesn't seem like it's a 15 point lead. It do not. It doesn't seem like it's a 15 point lead. But that's what happens when you get caught up in the game. You don't really, you don't really notice the score. Inside! And again, it's not going to be easy going up against the Giants of the Panthers. Absolutely, that's a great job of changing the shot. Great job of altering the shot. St. Francis is going to slow it down and make some sense for coaching. Make boys that come out and have to defend. Really will keep them honestly. Alexander. Off the knees, going to stay with St. Francis. Panthers basketball. Oh, going to kick that time. In the knees. He did. Watch it. Actually, no, I was busting. I'm sorry. Whoa, that was wild. And a charge is called. Well, 655 left. Boy, Latin is in the most. Offensive foul called number five. they've been in all year. Yeah. This is a good one. This is what you want. This could be a MIAA conference finals preview at Harvard Community College in three weeks. <laughs> well, I think I noticed a big man from St. Francis. He did a good job of helping him hedge you. Good job of helping him hedge you. There you go again on the head. Good Speaking of help, and Murphy was the main man to help. Must be inside. Hey, one. Yeah, 
It's just about to tell you about the whole game, man. If you can get out and start running, it's going to be a tough situation. Swear with that. Got to slow the ball down. Foul ball number three, Sam Brimus. It is huge. But then they go into the other sub line of this game. Last year, Boys Lane came in this building and won an MIA A Conference semifinal game. Got them to the finals against John Hill a year ago. Boys Lane. St. Francis. Ashton Sean hit. I believe remembers that. And again, I'm using motivation. Absolutely. I think that St. Francis is going to lose it. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens again. The ace. That's two. No emotion. This is a good basketball player. This is a good basketball player. 17 point lead. Again, you don't, they don't feel like it is. Absolutely. This thing feels like it's three, three, three. Spencer off the glass, miss. And the ace gets it back. And this is where St. Francis is very dangerous. Ali! Oh, it's the reversal. Murphy. Yes, got it. Couldn't finish it. And the ball back. Uh-oh, Spencer pulls out for two and hits. Time out by. They're like, time out. Missing the layup was one thing. Did you see the catch and the scoop? Oh, Jordan Toes, amazing safety in football, and we call him Air Toes when he takes off in basketball. Yeah, he was about to show us that right there. The pass has been a little different. St. Joe's. This time though, it'll be down at Irving. Coach Clancy has uh, had a chore this year with that Mount St. Joe's team. Not the normal change you see with Sticks is there and one cell. Still only got six yeah, losses. Yeah, I knew that. Two of them losses have been to St. Maria Goretti. I remember man saying St. Francis playing Mount St. Joe's. UMBC. Alexander. I would let him get him. Both of them. Wes is looking to check back in for St. Francis. Alexander drives. Kicks it over. Toes again. Not that time. Rare miss. Rare miss in this one so far. Wide open three. Spins out. Rebound over to Murphy. Desperation setting in for the late one. Yes, they had a big win in Irvington against Mount St. Joe's. The boys Latin. And they've been number one for three weeks now. But that is Alexander. That run is 422 left for coming to Race again from long distance. That was high that time. It's going back to the, the Panthers. So St. Francis, did he commit one more five for Boyd Latin? It's a one and one. He double dribbled. Wow. They uh, unforced turn. Those things don't really matter when you're up, you know, at 13. Whenever you, whenever the game's close, you got to get the ball to Ace, Ace got to get the ball to his hand. Control the temper and the pace the same Exactly. Exactly true. Matt Spencer Grace, he went back from being inside, he went back in and did not go. Again, that's a side of Francis. Not making me feel like he can make that shot two feet from the basket. The ace. The guy. Oh, oh my! Kiss it in there, baby! The ace. Doing it in the second half now. Spencer 
for three. That one's spent out. Offensive rebound, and that goes blocked by West. That length, man, that length, that speed, and that size of St. Francis really showing his head right now. But it is. Woo, Alexander. Well, give it back to the ace now. Right. Give it to him. Told you he's the one trying to make all the decisions right now. Oh. Alexander, crossover, and front end miss. Freshman thought he had something there, huh? It looked good. It looked good. That's a uh, double team. Here we go. To the ace. Here we go. Back over. Lays it in. Speaking of one of the best players, that must be there. That one didn't know. Spencer. Fast break. He's shooting two. Oh, that was yours? Hey, went on. We 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 went I want to beat the traffic. Again, it's a good game. Two good teams. And I'm sure they, they had the game been closer, they would have still been sitting here talking about this. It's a great, again, it's a great high school basketball game. The boys wrap this down into another band team. Completely saying we'll let everybody play at this moment. I think St. Francis is about to make the same move. So it's a great gesture by both coaches. That it is. No question about that. And, uh, see you in the summer. Both coaches. Or spring, I guess. See you in about a month. Yeah, sure enough. I see, I see Angel Reese down there. Yeah, really, really good basketball player for St. Francis on the basketball team. She's been great job. She's been doing it since uh, freshman year, man. She's getting it done. She's one of those those jewels, man, that we have here in Baltimore. And again, she plays basketball. She's, she's really, really grown to the side. We will get to see them in two weeks. Yeah, I think it's, you know, the thing is always playing, you know, and it should be growing part of and in a championship, I mean, just speaking too fast, but those are right now the two best teams that I think they are. And national eyes will be on that one as well, and our eyes will be on it on the 17th on the National Network. No question. Absolutely. About it. St. Francis boys. 143 away from the Thony Boys Latin from the top spot in the area. Still a great year for Boys Latin. It's only be their third defeat. And these two teams could be destined to see each other again at the MIA 8 Conference Finals. And I'll tell you, when they see each other again, things will be different. I do believe so. That was a wild shot. No good. Trying to get the foul. Trying to get the foul. Yeah, gonna stay. Good hustle, they're gonna stay with the Good hustle by the bench. Alexander. Mr. Cho sneaks his way back in here. Yeah, he did. Mark Alexander uh, maybe tweet something. That's why Jordan is uh, still Absolutely. hanging around. Shot clock at 20. That's the three. That one's high. Short offensive rebound. Floater. That one no good. Ball, whoa! Baldwin had to watch his step. Goes down, gets up. Still on the play. Man. Good. That one's high. Out of bounds. Gonna go to Boys Latin. 48.7 left. Lakers basketball. The St. Francis, like I said, they played a game yesterday, which uh, you've seen on the Dodgeway Network against Mount Kelman. And might have the energy to have put up 80 today. Still got, yes, still got games at Calvert Hall. Gloria head home, Pilate. We'll be back Sunday for that one. The Pilate game might be their last one. That's not close. 
They still have a game against Gilman to make up. That yeah, could be the last awesome. home game. <laughs> Rumored for the Southern. So many games to make up because of what? Man, the photo vortex, man, is really, uh, really tough on everybody. Sports. So St. Francis is going to move to 25 and 4. And boys Latin is going to drop 24 and 4 themselves. The only, their fourth loss, their first loss in the calendar year. The Panthers are home. Panthers 80 and Panthers final big win for them. So strong and got a little bit of a nice little side. And we look forward to seeing you right here at St. Francis Academy Wednesday night. It's Senior Day, so our late guesters in game time is 6 p.m. And please, drive home safely. We have never wanted that dynamic, so it's a great team here at St. Francis, but also a really, really well put together team over there. No question about it. And for Chris Armstrong, DeMar Stott, we say so long to you. Wild Lake and Patterson's coming your way later this week here on the Dodge Ring Network. And we'll be back on Sunday with Pilate and St. Francis. Until then, so long. This is Die Sporting Network.